Guess we're approaching the gateway to hell. be the best place to take someone on a date in the world. Is that an Aston Martin? Uh, it's a hard life. Good morning folks and welcome to another beautiful stunning day in Lisbon. However, Lisbon is not our destination today. Oh no, we're off to Cascais, a little seaside town quite well known in the area. Let's see if it lives up to the hype, if it's as good as people say it is. So that wasn't too bad, I think it was five euros there and back, and I'm able to use this, my local Metro card for the underground. So yeah, very easy, very convenient. Next train, 11 o'clock, so 15 minute wait, and then we're off. Okay, just arrived in Kashkash after a 50 minute train ride, nice and easy. So let's go explore the town. The first thing we see, of course, is McDonald's. Let's check out this view. the Rainia, Rainia Beach. Let's take a quick look. Wow, look at that, beautiful. Love those palm trees. Just gonna try not to get my feet wet here. Beautiful. What a place. I'm already impressed. Not bad, eh? Quite a view. Okay, let's head off back into town, see what else we can find. Okay, so this place is clearly geared towards tourists, but still like it. It's very nice. First impression so far. Yeah, good. Quite well, liking this old town. A 
parts of the food quarter. Looks like this place has got all your flip-flop needs covered. Okay, got a little square here. Wonder who that is? That statue. Huh. And an O'Neill's Irish pub. So see the, those all over the place in Spain when we lived there. Ubiquitous Irish pubs. If you want an over overpriced drink and we want some football, some rugby, you know where to go. Right. Don Pedro. Whoever he was. I'm thinking of changing this to being a, a history channel. What do you think? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Museo da Vila. Town Museum. I wonder what's in here. Maybe we'll take a look later. But only if it's free. Which I bet it isn't. <laughs> you tend not to find free museums in Portugal. It's not like London. Must be a big town. It's got a Ferris wheel. <laughs> like everywhere else in the planet, on the planet. <clears throat> It's like if you turn the world upside down nowadays, it'd go like a roller skate. Assuming the world is flat, of course. Let me know in the comments if I'm right. And, yeah, another statue. Who's this dude? Don Luis. Okay, yeah, the famous Don Luis. Not to be confused with Don Simon, who makes wine in Spain. All right, let's have a look along the, the coast. Look at some palm trees and water. Another little beach, a beach volleyball going on. Danish, roast chestnuts. <laughs> Lovely weather today, by the way. It's nice and cool. Well, a bit warmer than the last trip I went on to um, Evra, which I'll link up here. Did you get that? Yeah, up here. <laughs> yeah, it was about 10 degrees a couple of weeks ago now. Getting up to about 16, 17 highest today, I think. So, yeah, it's already getting into British summer weather. <laughs> We're only in January in Portugal. Oh no, music, copyright strike. What are these then? It's like little beach huts. Have a look. Can't see what happens behind there. I assume they're like beach huts like you have in England, which you can rent out. They're not really into health and safety here in Portugal. See where my feet are. There's my foot, there's my foot, yeah. So, yeah, I could just easily stumble off here, be none the wiser, and plummet to a, a slow, wet death. Beg your pardon. 
I reckon guys, shall we head to the marina? Do Municipio de Cascais al Rey Don Carlos I. Okay. Homage to King Carlos the First, 1863 to 1908. From the town council, looks like. Oh my Portuguese is just getting awesome. <laughs> Looks like a nice expensive place for a coffee. Didn't put the prices on, I noticed, so that's always a bad sign, but nice view. Yeah, I think I'll have a coffee here. cool place. And my eye is drawn immediately to the the modern looking building over there, <laughs> the art district. Yeah, look at all that geometry. I think we're gonna have to go in here. I 
wonder if it's free. Such a cheap skate. Can I help you? <laughs> Huge pair of opera glasses. Cool. Quick selfie. This. this is so cool. Old, what, 1920s, 1930s gas pump, as they say in America. Cool. This place is just so visually cool. <laughs> really nice place. I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, to be honest, when I looked at Qashqais as a destination for a day trip, from what I'd seen and from what people told me, just thought it would be some kind of tourist trap overpriced for the restaurants gift shops that kind of thing the beach of course but having seen this I realized there's more than what people some people think that it has to offer especially if you're aesthetically minded like I am I may have to come here come back here for my photography channel actually 
Link in the description, by the way. Yep, there is another channel. I'll link it up here as well. Or up here. Here, here. One of the two. Indie, not a bookshop. Okay, let's take a look. Hello, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Looks like there must be some kind of classic car exhibition going on. And a beautiful Porsche 911. Old BMW. White Porsche 911 with leather seats, looks like. Wow, Alfa Romeo Giulia Super looks like a ladder, <laughs> very boxy. This E Type Jag. Wow. What a classic. This is a real classic. Look at those wheels. This really was unique. Mini Cooper, come here. Is that an Aston Martin? No, it's a Lancia. Lancia. I'm being a Philistine here. Looked like an Aston Martin to me. Lancia 
Lancia Flavia. Lancia Flavia. Beautiful steering wheels they had in those days. Back when they made things to last. So, which one was your favourite? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so that was a nice little treat, some classic cars. Next stop, a Boca de Inferno, the mouth of hell. Let's see what it is. Sounds cool anyway. Avenida Vasco da Gama. Very pretty. Lovely park over there. It's gorgeous in this sunshine. Look at this row of trees. Beautiful. So we're on our way to Pocket Inferno, which I've got no idea what it is. Just some kind of cove. There's a cave there, I think, in the sea. So let's see if it's worth visiting. Let's go. Getting distracted again. Casa de das Historias Paulo Rego. Or Rigo. Casa das Historias Paulo Rego. The thing that caught my eye here was that tree against those pyramids. Look at that. Amazing. Definitely going to have to come back here with my camera. As opposed to just making videos everywhere, I want to take some pictures. Look at these trees. I'm just going to be naughty and walk on the grass for a second to get a better, better view of this tree and those buildings. Look at that and that blue sky, the colours. Wow. Look at that, look at that. Is that not beautiful? Let's look at the bark of this tree. Really raspy bark. Ow! <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. What is this building? Is it an art gallery? Looks like one. Should be. Certainly should be. From the outside, looks great. And that building over there, the yellow one, the shadows of the trees, looks beautiful as well. Look, once again, the colours you encounter in Portugal just blow my mind. Coming from grey old England, it's incredible. What do you think? Would you come here? I'll tell you what, Kashkai, she's exceeded my expectations. Yep, good place. So we're inside Casa Paolo Rego, and it is a gallery, and he's a painter. <laughs> Five euros entry, by the way, so I'll just let you have a look around with me. Here we go. Must admit, I've never heard of this painter, but yeah, it seems to have been pretty prolific. Hmm, what's this tapestry? Battalion de Alcácer, Alcácer Kibir, the Battle of Alcácer Kibir, nineteen sixty-six. Take it; it was made in nineteen sixty-six, and that's not the date of the battle. <laughs>
1954. What is it? It doesn't say much about the actual story, what it depicts. Huh, interesting. Untitled. Okay guys, we're coming up to the Bocca Inferno, just straight ahead. Let's go. Guess we're approaching the gateway to hell. Wow, look at that. Guess that down there is the mouth of hell. Oh no, copyright strike coming. <laughs> Expecting dirty dancing in help.
Ei, queres mais? Queres mais música? Não, não, não. Well, this place is gorgeous. whisper now. It's got to be the best place to take someone on a date in the world. Walk it Inferno by George Michael. Let's head back into town, get the train back to Lisbon. <laughs> 